one of you guys that would be guys to another one. Let me back you up a little bit. To another one take review. And this one review of Krypton. The season finale of Krypton. Which I thought we were going to have more episodes than this. But I guess it was on sci-fi. It's on sci-fi. So sci-fi, you know what I'm saying? I guess you had to give it a little run. See how it was going to do first. See if they go. And then I know it got renewed for a second season. A lot of people really seem to like Krypton. I thought it was okay. A lot of people call it like the best comic book show this year year and i cannot agree with that because in my opinion i think dc less than marvel probably the best one krypton had a, i think krypton was just different so it's gonna take me it took me a while to get used to it and plus all the different turns for like kryptons uh Krypton, kryptonians you know <laughs> that i didn't get used to it to like the tail end but i really like how it ended and i thought the finale was excellent uh first of all we see like with General Zod's whole real mission was he was like, hey, I came back. He really came back to take over and, and rule Krypton, but he basically had to get Brainiac out the way. And I love how they use Brainiac. I kind of, they just sent Brainiac to the Phantom Zone as well as uh, Seg, but that, that's pretty apparent that Seg's going to get out because it's pretty much the start of the show. So you don't have, you don't renew for a second season if you don't have Seg. You know? so show's ended, yeah, that works. And then we get, we actually get Val L out of the uh, Phantom Zone. We did we find out this episode that he before instead of falling to his death, he went to the to the Phantom Zone. Him and that's where he met Zod, and Zod stole this stuff to get out of the Phantom Zone. That's like, but I'm wondering like why didn't Val ever use it to get out himself and Val and seen like different futures and stuff like that. And uh, what's the name plan is to offer Val to to Brainiac. Uh, so that he can pretty much control Krypton, you know, or save Krypton, and what he wants to say. Now, you, when you look at General, when you look at General Zod and his whole motives, his whole motives revolve around only saving Krypton. And but it, it, since he's a general, it, his stuff goes into a more of like an army mindset. Where then he starts to expand and wants to take over more shit. But we see he kind of like instead he starts to take over everything. You see at the end of in this episode, well, at the, like. To tell in this episode, um, the Superman symbol actually turns to a Zod symbol. So apparently, I don't think what's the name is born. Uh, what's the name is never really born. Uh, 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 I don't think uh, uh, Jarrell is born. Thus, Kal-El isn't born. Thus, you have no Superman. So I think what's the name uh, uh, is is manipulated things to work into his favor because we saw once he was going into uh brand going to the family zone the cable was restored and everything but then you see the symbol changes once seg is took and i don't think seg is actually uh, uh, uh general zod's father i think it's the other black guy i mean just i think i think zod is all black you know it's, it is what it is it's just all black um and i think lighter not lighter uh nissa and Seg have a kid, and I don't think, I think the kid that she was able to escape with is not going to be named, uh, whatever the fuck she, Corvix or whatever. I think it's actually going to be jor -El. So we have that, and there's a lot of stuff going on. We find out that the, the, pretty much the rich, we find out this a while ago, but uh, Lida, I mean, Nissa didn't know. Hold on. Yeah, uh, Lida found out that she was basically a clone, and I can't think of the woman name who tells her, but she pretty much found out she's a clone. So you got that going down. And then you get uh, at the end, the very end, Doomsday. Who looks 150 times better than the Doomsday we got on BBS. Hey, always bring up that movie because I know it's like it's, it's like a cesspool of comments and, and people who love it and hate it actually like it. It's not for the sake of this video, but the way he looks, that's how Doomsday's supposed to look. And they have no, listen, they have wreck, they have no powers on Krypton, so there's no way if Doomsday get out, everybody really supposed to die. Like literally supposed to just be fucked. Like I, I don't know how they go. I don't know how they get seg out. I don't know. The world is completely changed because you have a Zod running everything. The scene he used the the rank list to create more of the Sagittarius. So they going out conquering planets. It seems like if you don't, well, if you don't accept him as like the ruler of Nia to to General Zod, if you don't do that, it take over your planet. So it's like a lot of stuff going on. It, it makes for a very very interesting season too. So that's it for the uh, season finale of Krypton. You guys, let me know what you thought about down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I catch up with you guys later.